It's a sign that uh, not only is the economy still moving, but also that the supply chain uh, squeezes have been starting to be ironed out. Some recent metrics out of two of Toronto's largest freight and travel hubs could be indicators of some positive economic news. The Greater Toronto Airports Authority providing City News data that shows Pearson International Airport processed over 35 million passengers in 2022. That's an increase of almost 23 million passengers compared to 2021, or more than 180% year over year. We saw a couple of records at the Port of Toronto. At the same time, the Port of Toronto processing a record 2.3 million metric tons of cargo last year. Jessica Pellerin of Ports Toronto says they did anticipate the numbers would be high. That's everything from the sugar for our morning coffee, salt for our roads, um, and a lot of the goods that are needed for our booming construction industry from cement to steel. Uh, we also saw a record year for cruise ships. She adds while Great Lakes freight wasn't hit quite as hard as ocean shipping or trucking, the record numbers may indicate an overall improvement in the big picture. Just in general, the, the transportation supply chain has improved, especially since, and since those uh, very difficult days in, in 2021. Now, while the port has been coping with the big comeback in freight volumes, it has been a rockier ride for Pearson, with much of the year characterized by images of congestion, piled luggage and scheduling trouble. Stephen Tufts studies labor geography with York University, and he's the spokesman for the Toronto Airport Workers Council. He says part of the trouble is when the pandemic hit, a lot of the airport workers left for other jobs. But now, although volumes are returning, the workers have not. A lot of folks went to the logistics industries, uh, nearby areas of uh, warehousing in the employment zone around the airport. And it's going to take a while to get all those folks back. He adds it's not just the airport, but also a number of government agencies that need to ramp up their hiring as well. This is something that the airport is still struggling with, and it's why they've actually capped the number of flights that can be uh, airlines can have over the next uh, a uh, few months. The GTAA did not respond to our questions regarding staffing or whether Pearson is ready to weather a possible recession looming later in the year. The port, on the other hand, says they're expecting some resilience. The Port of Toronto is primarily a bulk port, so construction, um, sugar, salt, those are commodities that are going to be needed no matter what. For City News, I'm David Zura.